Hello everyone. Welcome to this quick tutorial video. I'm just going to be covering how to set up your USB microphone to get uh, kind of the optimal sound quality. Um, and so I'm going to include a couple of things in the in the description, a couple of downloads for you. You're going to need this program called Voice Meter Banana. And then you'll also need uh, this ACO for All uh, V2 driver. So again, those will be in the description for you. So once you've gotten those downloaded, the first thing that you're going to need to do is uh, install Voice Meter Banana. Uh, install both of them, obviously, but Voice Meter Banana is uh, going to be your act as uh, essentially your sound card. And so uh, you'll want to uh, install that, restart your computer, otherwise the uh, drivers won't show up. And once you've restarted your computer, click on your speakers icon, right click, open up sound settings. You'll want to, uh, this stupid box is in my way, uh, you'll want to go to your output device and you're going to select uh, voice meter. Uh, mine says speakers, so select whichever one says speakers or whichever one uh, doesn't say input. I'm not really sure what yours is going to look like, so just kind of have to figure it out, I guess. Under input, you'll choose uh, the auxiliary device, aux file. Uh, the other one just says file, virtual audio in out. So um, select the auxiliary one for that. That's your input device. And uh, let's see. From there, that's set up through Voice Meter. You'll want to uh, have your uh, ACO driver installed, and then in Voice Meter, you're going to this thing is going to drive me nuts. Um, go into Voice Meter, cl uh, click A1, go down and select your ACO for all V2 um, driver, and then from there, you're probably not going to hear anything through your microphone. You're going to want to open up the panel for ACO. It'll be down here on your on your taskbar. It might be in this little box. I dragged mine out of there, so it's just down here. I can click on it. Um, by the way, I'm using a condenser microphone. This is a $50 microphone I got off of Amazon. So you probably have a better microphone than this, and therefore your audio quality can sound even better than mine is through this microphone. Um, so again, you'll open up your ACO panel here. That's this guy. Uh, you'll click the wrench to uh, open up advanced options. You, uh, by default, yours will look different than this. Uh, I'm not going to reset my settings, but... Uh, Basically, I'm going to just walk you through. So by default, this comes turned on. You're going to turn this box off and then just minimize that. Uh, open up this box. Uh, your uh, device here isn't going to say audio control one. Yours will probably say something along the lines of Realtek HD audio. Um, just whatever your primary sound driver is for your computer. So you'll open up that. You'll make sure that's turned on and make sure that the input and the output are both turned on. Then minimize that. Um, this is going to be whatever your your USB microphone is called. So, and this applies to uh, like headsets as well. Like if you're using a headset with a microphone on it, you can use this as well. Um, so you'll open up that box. You'll turn that on, but just make sure that the output is turned off um, because you're using voice meter as your output device instead of your headset. Um, it'll still be outputting through your headset, but you know. So minimize that, and then you're going to open up the voice meter uh, virtual audio in out. That's the output. That's your speakers. Uh, open that. Make sure that's turned on, and make sure the input is turned off, and then output is turned on. And that'll give you sound through your uh, that'll give you sound through your microphone. Uh, if you are having latency problems, uh, you can change this slider. If you lower it, that'll decrease latency, but then you'll start to uh, probably get some audio glitches. Um, mine uh, even glitches a little bit on 512 samples, which um, you might hear a little bit of crackling in the background as I as I talk, um, and that's the sort of audio glitches that you'll hear. So from there, this is going to meet me, but I'm going to close this box. Okay, so once you've gotten your uh, your ACO panel set up, you're going to want to go into your drop down menu, go to System Settings. Uh, you're going to want to right click by default. Your th thing is going to look like this. Yeah, your thing is going to be set up and look like this when you first open this. So you're going to want to left click both of these up to three and then right click both of these down so that they're uh, off. That's going to give you um, a mono signal through here and then you can even further. Uh, make the signal mono and, and it increases the volume. I don't like having that on. It makes it a little too loud, but you can turn that on and then you'll be set up there. Uh, and then the last thing that I do is, uh, oh, 
another thing too. This is my compression and EQ, but first, uh, by default, you are going to be, this green box is going to be on B1 instead of B2. Um, if it's not on B2, people in Discord in game chat are not going to be able to hear you. You'll hear yourself through your mic or through your headset, but you won't be able to talk to people. So you need to make sure that the channel that your microphone is set up through, which is input one here, is on B2. Um, and then basically, if you look over here, you can see this is B2, this is B1, and then if you go into here and you open up your sound settings, the speakers is B1 and your microphone is B2. So that's how that works. So make sure that's set up. You can go in here. I like to increase my compression up about 0.5 and just a little bit of EQ. Makes it sound a little better. And uh, yeah, if you don't know what compression does, it's basically just uh, like brings the volume of parts where you're being loud and parts where you're being quiet and just kind of squish them together so that they're this like more or less the same volume. So it's good to have. If you are, if you turn up your compression um, too high, you'll start to hear white noise and uh, that's not good. Nobody wants to hear that like hissing constantly. And if you do have hissing, you can bring up a noise gate until the hissing goes away. But uh, I don't like using noise gates because sometimes it makes it uh, like a harsh attack when I start to talk. Um, as the noise gate closes, when I start to talk, sometimes it doesn't fully pick me up right away and it cuts me off. So I don't like that. So I usually just leave the noise gate turned off. But uh, I think that covers everything. Um, I've had to do quite a bit of you know troubleshooting to figure this out. So I think I think I got it down here for you guys. Um, and if this was helpful. Uh, please consider leaving a like and a subscribe. It would be very helpful to me. I would appreciate it very much. Um, and if you have any questions, feel free to leave me a comment or hit me up on the old Discord, and I will do my best to help you out. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and take care now. Bye-bye.